an adequate reason for why I do it. Oh, this is the this is the USC film school watching me, by the way, a couple days ago. Everyone takes risks. When you go and work for a place, you are taking risks. Two sides to that conversation. The greatest risk that a business owner has is losing their money and becoming a worker like you. Never forget that. Because when you lose your business or when you lose all the money, you don't go to prison. They don't kill you. You just become a worker. That's the biggest fear that a capital owner has is being relegated to the working class, going back to becoming a worker. That is the biggest risk that they're taking. So you as a worker literally look at that situation and go, oh, my lord, but they're taking risks, my lord. He deserves the profits of my labor. I myself am not taking a risk. Well, Damn, I'm hearing some laughter in the room. Let's go. No, you are. Because when that business goes under, you lose your job too. Your starting position as a worker at that business is already literally the end point that those capital owners, your bosses are afraid of becoming. That is their biggest fear. So never forget, you take... I love you, but if my professor was a Hassan Abbey head, that'd be cringe. Why? This is a wild thing to see, though, in class. Like, people that have these kinds of flags on their fucking bio on Twitter being like, fucking end me. That's so cringe. Like, brother, what do you mean? Like, your entire life is infinitely more cringe than this, than than one of my fucking TikToks being shown in a USC class. Like, why do people who are, why do people who are themselves insanely fucking cringe assume that the only way to not appear as cringe is... Basically by, uh, I don't know, saying other things are cringe. 